Good morning, everybody. The name's Compotata, and if you have seen this uh, this castle before, you're either on my Instagram or you've seen it on Reddit, where I posted it on uh, r slash Minecraft. Anyway, uh, this is Castle Kelp. Now, what makes Castle Kelp so special? Well, up until about a couple of months ago, the server that I'm currently on and that I've done the majority of my builds on, uh, linked to the IP in the description, by the way, if I remember, um, if not, it's hub.mc-complex.com. Anyway, um, where was I? Yeah, so this server had been on 1.12.2 for as long as I can remember. We're talking years and years and years until a couple of months ago when one day I log on and suddenly, all of a sudden, we are in 1.16 and we have all the new blocks. So there was one combination that I had wanted to use or at least try for a very long time which was and that combination was dark wood of some variety so spruce or dark oak with a kelp roof and I wanted to add um, dark prismarine accents so well I did I uh, I added just that I added all the new flexible uh, dark prismarine blocks I added warped uh, warped stuff, which was, by the way, a really cool, really funky wood, uh, and strip wood alongside the uh, signature kelp. So I'm really excited to show this thing off to you guys. So what I'm going to do is something never before seen on the Compotato channel. I'm doing a tutorial, like I'm doing a full tutorial on how to build this thing. So without further ado, uh, please just like, subscribe, comment, share, overall feed the algorithm. Uh, I'm about to cut away. I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay. <laughs> We're back. We're back. And, uh, well, let's just get started, okay? So, uh, camera, come with me. Thank you very much. So, to begin with, uh, set out a 49 by 29 block area uh, so that you can build that there big house. Okay? Otherwise, it's just not going to fit. Uh, Technically, you could go 47 by 27, but personally, I think that it's better if you just keep like a one block perimeter around the area just to be safe. So, let's get started. Okay, so for the very beginning bit of this tutorial, you're going to want to start off by making the front staircase. So you're going to want to make uh, a row of one, two, three, four, five dark oak stairs, then go one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, ah, four, yeah, just uh, go four planks back, okay? Then you're just going to want to keep going like that. You're going to want to uh, just really just build a staircase, man. Like, <laughs> it's a staircase, whatever. So just do that, okay? You're going to want to make it so that in the end, you have a grand total of this. So this is one, two, three four stairs and one plank cool cool so after that you can finally start building um that you can finally start building the um the exterior sort of like bracing like the staircase okay cool so in order to do that let me switch the camera okay so for the body you're going to want to start off by making uh those um Fancy stair thingies. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. But you're going to want to go one, skip a block, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm out of frame. This is unprofessional as hell. So the deal with this, right, is that you're going to. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> so the deal here uh, is that you're going to want to make a whole bunch of corner stairs. And in order to do that, you're going to want to make. Uh, each um, each stair in its relative position in that sort of like square of stairs the same orientation that made zero sense uh, but let me explain so let's take this sort of uh, stair square thingy okay uh, in order for me to do this in order for me to make uh, this thing consistently I would need this stair the same orientation every time this bleh. This stair the same orientation every time, and this stair the same orientation every time. 
So let's do that. Next, just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make sure that these uh, that these stairs that you just placed are corner stairs. Then uh, again with the corner stairs, you're going to want to go behind the original stairs. Again, make sure that all of the blocks have the same relative position across every stair unit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and with that out of the way, we want to make the same unit, uh, but four of them this way. Now, I'm going to save myself the time and effort, and I'm going to save you guys the minutes of watch time by just doing this world at a command on the screen right now. Bop. Then, after that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select all of these stairs um, and you're going to want to basically flip them. So I'll build, a, actually before I do world edit, I will show you how to do one of these stair modules manually. So just place a stair like that, go like this, go like this, go like this, and go like this. And as you can see, what you get here is a very lovely little stair module. So we basically have to take this stair module here uh, and repeat it for every single one of these stair modules and every single one of these stair modules. So I'm just going to do that with world edit. Now, luckily for me, world edit actually has a command that lets me do this very easily. So I can just select uh, this layer of stairs here that are um, quote unquote right side up. I can do this command, this command, then I can go up a block and I can do this command. And there you go. It's uh, it's nice, right? Then, just wait, because I'm going to do even more magic. If you select the too high selection, and you put in this command, ta-da! <laughs> See that? It's, it's beautiful. It's lovely. It's wonderful. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Side staircase time. Right, okay. So the side staircases are going to be a little bit um, narrower. They're going to be three wide instead of five wide. So once you mark out the three wide selection uh, right after the four uh, stair unit thingies, what you want to do is go one, two, one, two. You're going to want to go two planks out, and then you're going to want to put your stairs down. Then just keep building up on that. Just fill it in. Just keep filling it in. You'll be okay, they don't bite, I don't think. <laughs> um, and follow the same protocol that you did with the front staircases, okay? One, two, three, four stairs, and then one uh, plank right here. So, if you really wanted, <laughs> I could manually build each and every one of these stair units for you, but I don't think that you would really enjoy that. So instead, uh, I'm going to select up to there, in that direction and up to here in this direction so i'm going to select three of the stairs in the front and two of the stairs on the side i'm going to go position one then i'm going to go to the intersection between uh this staircase over here and this staircase over there and i'm going to go position two i'm going to do uh, this command i'm going to look in the direction that i want to flip and i'm going to do a this command, and then a this command, <laughs> then I'm going to do a this command, a this command, a this command, and this command, and there you go. And uh, there you have it, a fully fledged uh, stair base, a base of stairs. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fill in uh, this sort of hole that we've created with um black stained terracotta a lego so you can fill it in flush like this or you can leave it as just walls if you want to make like a creative basement oh i messed up here <laughs> okay i messed up here i messed up here so it would seem that i only selected one of the stair blocks on the side uh i'm a professional i promise uh i'm just gonna uh, select that 
I'm going to do uh, this command. Then I'm going to select the uh, lay with the stairs. I'm going to do that command. And there we go. <laughs> now we have a base. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So next is the uh, the first floor. Alrighty. So uh, first floor. Let's do this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the black terracotta over here and then go one block out. So go to the, um, go to this block over here, uh, this dark oak block over here, place one, two, three, four, five pieces of spruce log over there. And one, two, uh, three, four, five pieces of spruce log over there. Then you're going to want to skip one, two, three blocks, then place over here, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, one, two, three, ah. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Then you're gonna want to fill it in with the uh, with the stripped dark oak wood. So just go around and just place in the blocks, just like so. If you want, um, you could leave some gaps right behind the spruce logs, but I don't really want to do that just for the sake of interior later on. But anyway, uh, there you have it. So this is your wall. Uh, this is your completely undetailed wall. Now take a large portion of this wall and tear it down. So uh, at the point where you would basically enter this house from the side, make a one, two, three, four, by three uh, block hole, just like that. Then you're gonna wanna go to the three wide module and make a three wide hole over here, a three tall hole over here, and a three tall hole over there. Then you're going to want to do something similar over here. So again, you see this, uh, this log over here, one, two, three, place, uh, put five down there, one, two, three, and then put five, one, two, three, and put, f I missed, five, <laughs> one, two, three, and place five. Then you're gonna to wanna to just fill this whole area in with a uh, stripped dark oak wood. Uh, like a so. And then <laughs> punch out the middles. Ah, like that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Great. <laughs> For aesthetic purposes, I like to take these logs down here, uh, these pieces of wood down here, tear them down and replace them with logs. Uh, same with this part over here. It just makes the doorway a little bit more interesting. See? <laughs> so much better. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to mark uh, the top block over there. Then go down one. And then use a scaffolding block to go one, two, three, four, five across. Grab your strip dark oak wood and go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, so detailing time now. So now that we have the basic shape down... Uh, let's get into a little bit of detailing. So first, grab yourself some spruce fences and cover each three wide module like a so. Then you're going to want to take a spruce trap door and put it on the uh, top side of the block right below the window. Then grab yourself some glass panes and fill in the hole. It's, uh, it's actually a pretty simple design. And then we're going to want to basically take this design uh, I'm just going to use World Edit Magic for this. Uh, and you're going to want to repeat it for all four of the units like a so. Then you're going to want to go to the other side. Again, this is a three wide module. So you're just going to want to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Put a spruce trap door down there and cover it in panes. Then this one wide section just spam spruce friend. Spruce fur, br 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 br. Spam spruce fences. So you see these details that I put into this quadrant? You're basically gonna wanna just take those details and apply them to all four quadrants, like boop and boop. There you go, that's your first floor. So for the, uh, for the roof on the first floor, what you're gonna wanna do is grab yourself some prismarine, uh, sorry, some dark prismarine Slabs, stairs, and blocks. Alrighty, so now it's roof time. Specifically time for the roof of the first floor that you can see over there. So, 
go to the top block of each of your windows, go to the corresponding spruce log block thingy, and place a dark prismarine slab upside down like that. Repeat for this one, this one. You can't see them, but I'm doing them on the sides. <laughs> uh, then this one and this one. Then what you're going to want to do is take some dark prismarine stairs and place them upside down on top of the slabs like this. Then just repeat on the other side. Okay, and now it's time for the dark prismarine blocks. Go on top of each of the upside down stairs and go one on top and one outside. One on, one out, uh, one on, one out. And then just repeat all the way around. By the way, if this video starts lagging, and it probably will, just know that it's not my fault. Uh, blame my computer, and uh, I am angrier at my computer than you are. So anyway, now that we have our blocks, place upside down slabs on the exteriors of each of these blocks alike. Uh, so, cool. <laughs> cool. Then, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take yourself... Uh, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get yourself some dried kelp blocks and just build all the way around like this. Okay, it's just a very, uh, very boxy sort of perimeter. Then from that outside perimeter, you're going to want to go um, a total of three blocks in. So add two extra blocks on the outside of the perimeter at every point. And in the end, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. So now you have your two blocks. Okay. So you have your three blocks and on the third block, you're going to want to go up by one block like that. Then uh, you're going to want to go one block in and one block up, then one block in one block up and then one block in. Okay. Let's move the camera so you can see the cross section. There you go. It looks just like that. And when we repeat it all the way across, we'll get something that looks a little bit like this. Take a victory lap camera. <laughs> Go around and show them what they're doing. Cool. So now you're going to want to take the block on the very end here, uh, place a block on top and break the lower block. Don't worry about it. It's a little bit chaotic, but that's fine. <laughs> Now then, uh, roof details. So for every um, slab, stair, block, slab combo that you see over here, you're going to want to do the following. Take yourself a dark prismarine stair block and do this. Okay, place an upright stair on the kelp block under which you have a dark prismarine slab. So go like that and that and that and that. Great. Then place a slab 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 <laughs> after that you're going to want to place a block uh right behind each of these slabs and just like that then you're going to want to place a stair and then after that stair uh you're going to want to place another stair on these four here but on uh, on the corner you're going to want to place yourself a block then you're going to want to continue on the side also turn around camera so you can see what's up as you can see the pattern is incredibly consistent just place a stair on each of these blocks go uh put some slabs like that put some blocks like that stair stair and there you go then on top you're going to want to put slabs i misplaced one right there so pan up and let me show you how you do that again it's it's very very simple so after each of these stairs you're going to want to put a slab just like that one two three four five then uh to cap the roof on the first floor you're going to want to take yourself some spruce wood you're going to want to go from the corner slab and you're going to want to place the spruce uh the spruce log right there then you're going to want to go one two three place again and then uh just keep going like that on this side so you can see if i move the perspective a little bit you can skip one two three place one two three place one two three place one two three place 
Great. <laughs> um, I, I think you missed the last place there. As you can see, that block is definitely there. I have not bamboozled you. So anyway, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this entire roof pattern and add a skirting on the outside. Guys, I messed up. Please bear with me. It's my first tutorial. So, <laughs> oh God. Okay. So these stairs here are not supposed to be dark prismarine. They're supposed to be warped stairs. So just go like that and like that. I mean, they can be dark prismarine if you like, but I like adding warped here for a little bit of contrast. Shout out to my friend on this server who told me that it looks nice. Uh, then you're gonna wanna go like a so. You're gonna wanna put top slabs next to each of these uh, warped stairs. And then after that, you're gonna wanna go uh, place um, yeah, you're going to want to place more dried kelp blocks like this, like this, like that, and last but not least, like this. So notice here uh, that I have put um, kelp blocks on top of the middle block on each of these layers, except for the very top one. So I didn't do this, okay? I didn't obscure um, the spruce log in uh, any way. So, why did I do this? Well, if you'll come back down here for me, I will show you. So, now that you have these um, kelp blocks right here, the ones that I'm shoving my face into, uh, smells nice, okay. Warped slab, warped slab, warped slab, warped slab. And then if you come with me to the other side here, for the corner, you're gonna wanna put a top slab there. Uh, then you wanna, bleh. then you're gonna wanna put a bottom slab there, top slab here, then do the same thing over here. So top slab, bottom slab, top slab. Great. Then you're gonna wanna get yourself uh, two warped slabs just like that. So you get a nice sharp corner right there. And it's the exact same pattern on this side. So go like that. Place your kelp blocks down like a so, one, two, three, four. Uh, you don't have to put them over here because that's just completely redundant. And then one, two, three, four. Then you're gonna wanna put a top slab here, top slab, bottom slab, a uh, top slab, bottom slab, top slab. And there you go. You have the roof proper for this one quarter. Now you'll see that there are some, uh, by some, I mean quite a few <laughs> gaping holes. Now what we do with those is quite simple. So on top of the fences here, you're gonna wanna place, wait, wait, oh, wait. Hello, <laughs> good morning everybody, the name's Compultator. Let's continue with this tutorial. One, two, three. So you place dark prismarine blocks on top of these here fences. And then you're gonna wanna go all the way around doing just that. Then you're gonna wanna bust out the stairs again you're gonna wanna go, you're gonna wanna put just, that's warped, that's warped. <laughs> um, you're gonna wanna grab your dark prismarine stairs again. Then for each of these three wide modules, uh, you're gonna wanna go like this. You're gonna wanna put, uh, you're gonna wanna place down dark prismarine blocks all the way around twice. So you're gonna wanna make a two wide perimeter, okay? The first uh, level of blocks is going to be on top of the fence on top of the fences, I should say. And then the next layer is gonna be right outside of that layer. Cool, great. Then um, to finish off these layers, you're gonna to wanna to put down an upside down stair, upside down stair, and a slab. And that's it, there you go. <laughs> that's all you gotta do for these three wide modules, okay? So let's repeat it for every single one of them, okay? Stair, stair, boop, 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 and boop, boop, boop. A uh, boop. I already booped that one. Next up is uh, these tricky boys. Well, they're not really that tricky. Just grab yourself a dark prismarine block, go like that, two slabs on the side, and there you go. That's all you need. So let's go to the other side over here, and let's finish it off with uh, the same technique that we used before. So go behind, right, to the top of the fences over here. Hello. Uh, and you're going to want to go one, two, three, three. There you go. Another one over here. Uh, go, if I can fly, <laughs> place some solid blocks down like uh, so. Stair, 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 and slab. And there you go. That's it. So, again, same pattern over here. 
I won't bore you with uh with the narration, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna yeah, I'm 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 just I'm just gonna real quick a dude a dude a dude and there you go. And then uh finally 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 just uh let me remove optical illusions here. Uh if you will go like a uh, so uh, just extend this layer to five blocks long, uh, wide, long, long, wide, five, five blocks like a so. Cool. <laughs> um, oh, I can't speak English. Also, get rid of this log. I lied to you about that log. Then you're going to want to do the same thing that you did over here with these layers, except instead of one block like that, uh, go three wide. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. That's all you gotta deal with. Then grab your warped slabs again, place bottom slabs like that, and well, there you go. That's that's all you need to do for the first um, for the first quadrant of the first floor. So I'm just gonna do some world edit magic, and I'm going to repeat this pattern for every quadrant yet again. And uh, there we have it. Besides this little bit, so for this little bit over here, it's gonna be quite quite simple. So, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna bleh, is you're gonna want to grab yourself some dark prismine blocks, uh, cover them up like this with a double layer like that. See one, two, one, two, one, two. Just go uh, go two out, okay. Place two inside stairs over here, and then three slabs like that. Then get yourself two stairs like that. And three prismine stairs like that. If you want to go real, real fancy, then you can break these three blocks over here and put stairs in instead. And there you go. So just take this pattern or whatever pattern you put there instead of this one and just apply it on the other side. Uh, move it, camera. We have places to be. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm camera. I'm camera. Hello, everybody. It's camera compilator. I'm slowly losing it on this server aren't I anyway oh god one two three four five break these three and uh, one two three a dude a dude a dude 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 and a dude and a dude and a dude 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 <laughs> there you go and finally 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 ladies and gentlemen this is your first floor of Castle Kelp. I'm going to take a break because I have been trying to make this recording for hours now. That is not an exaggeration. It has taken me hours. So, I'll be right back.